Welcome back to Journey to Incrementalia, and today we will go through the rest of the game, hopefully, and I will showcase you like the other builds and fun moments of the game, which we will encounter because um, I really like the game. It feels really good. I enjoy it, and the progression here is so smooth that I'm actually enjoying it playing active. So this is one of those not idle incremental games, but active incremental games where you have to press buttons and play it actively. I like that concept because it's pretty rare in that genre. And uh, yeah, we had some playthroughs of uh, like Orb of uh, Creation, which I really liked. So this one is a nice game. So yeah, let's get going. We will destroy this wall. In order to do that, we will incinerate it. And where are my devils? My devils are gone because I was doing the articles and they were missing. So yeah, basically we are doing cultist and a demon build and we will have to sacrifice some skeletons because we have too many. And that will end this playthrough, I think. So let's get like uh, 72, that will do. We need like 10 skeletons, we don't need that many. So 90 cultists and 30 devils should be okay. Incinerate is working. And it's going down at a steady rate. Oh, interesting. We can buff skeletons with the Overseer. Maybe it's time to make a skeleton build. Let's get some Necro Managers. And uh, we will see... Overseers, there we go. And we will see how much do they contribute towards the damage of our guys. Uh, let's see. So, damage of the skeletons is... Oh, it's, it's ghosts. It's different. Skeleton damage. It's at the bottom. So we have the gas damage from the killed cultists, and we are lacking those guys, to be honest. Let's get more of them for the devils. And now we have the skeletons, and I will use the skeletons for the rest of my army, and we will compare. Uh, honestly, they are doing not so great damage, but then again, we have like, how many? 19 skeletons, that's nothing. So let's get some souls first. And now we can make more skeleton nobles to get more skeletons automatically. Just need to remember to keep the cultists up so we can compare their damage. And also, I would like to get some of the height and thing in order to get myself get <laughs> myself some more melee damage bonus. So at this point, skeleton seems like a waste because they don't really do that much damage anyway, even with the buffs. And devils, together with the ghast, uh, when they kill the cultists, does more damage, but... But Devils and the Ghast require manual um, interaction. So we need to keep Cultists up before we'll unlock the minion that will summon Cultists. And uh, if I will get distracted, that will go down. Skeletons, on the other hand, are pretty much automated. So you don't need to do anything. And actually, all right, let's give it a go. Right now we have like about, I would say, 2.2 million damage with the Devils. Let's sacrifice them all, sacrifice the cultists, and see how much we can get with the pure skeleton build. So, our skeleton army is more or less complete. We are getting 1.3 million per second damage here. Uh, maybe if we would get more over there, extremely expensive. That would help, but it, at the current ratio, it's inferior at the current build. Ah, because we can, we can change the build. But that will reset the wall. Next wall, we will try the full skeleton power. And I think it will overdo the um, devil one. And yeah, in this level, they have the attacking uh, walls. So in this case, our skeleton army will be better. We'll have to wait till the next wall. But uh, right now, with 40 devils in our army, uh, their DPS is way higher than the rest of the cultists. So... We managed to get about the same 2 million damage with the uh, skeletons. And right now, I mean, we will keep the balance. But yeah, having a couple of those skeleton nobles here will help to make this fight with the walls that do attack way easier. Okay, we finally add the proper wall without any damage. Uh, let's test the builds. We actually unlocked... No, we didn't unlock anything. And now I will go full into the cultist and devil build and see how it will go. Uh, the main problem here that you can't really scale it that much. At like 60 devils, you will have to continuously get the cultists and they will get more and more expensive. But uh, our DPS is pretty good. Uh, can we get more captains though? Yeah, we can. And I will buff the haunting spell that will give us more gas damage because it's like additional damage for this build. So why the hell not? And we are scoring somewhere around 4. Point, well, let's say 4.5 million on average. 
with the uh, cultist dying and all that, and we have to replenish the cultist numbers all the time. Maybe even 5 million on average. Now, let's try the skeleton build. I'm really curious how it will play out. So we will have the maximum skeletons. We didn't did that before. That's why our stats were lower. We need a single exchange here. We need some stuff here. Let me, let me work on the build. Hmm, that's pretty simple, actually. We don't need that many upgrades for the skeletons right now because we just need to max out the overseers and skeletons and those things will help us a bit but most of the things don't really matter that much let's buff the captain to the maximum then we still have 10 points because the rest of those things are for other builds and maybe make those guys a bit better it doesn't matter that much to be honest and maybe oh we can get more souls right now that would be cool because uh all the souls we get through the soul exchange through the soul contract they will stay after the reset so you can actually max it out get the souls reset get one point and you will get those souls available at straight away that would be cool so whoa what the hell is this ah this is the song of mana that i did in order to get more mana all right so uh basically what we need to do we need to get like uh i don't know let's say 20 nobles they will spawn skeletons get a, a lot of captains like 50 and get like as many overseers as we can afford and let them cook basically uh do we have anything that will help with the skeleton not really we are in the proper damage build already so i'm curious to see how it will end up so that was what like 5 million last time dps it's getting close look at that and we don't have incinerate yet because we're saving up mana so with 55 captains and 25 overseers and 20 skeleton nobles and the rest in the souls let's get more soul contracts as well uh, in the skeletons we are getting 5.7 million without the incinerate because once we activate it the dps will grow and it will be higher than the devil one so skeleton army actually works if you put an effort into it that's cool we are peaking at 8 million per second which is way more and of course it can be buffed like any other thing with the uh, mana amplification so i think i'll just go through the current round with the, this build and then we'll try the manual build do i unlock something over here for that works mana multiplayer buffer world hmm. so yeah around 8 million eh, come on guys <laughs> don't embarrass me around 8 million dps for this build which is pretty cool and it's like uh what about 50 percent more effective than the devil's one and you don't need to worry about the cultist but you don't get that much mana inflow because the cultists when you resummon them and they've been killed by the devils they give you quite a good influx of um of mana now let's go for the poison build since we unlocked the poison things recently and i want to see how much different it will be we need to remember that our incinerate is at 10 though so we'll be getting the goblin archers for that so here is the build we will mainly rely on the goblin archers uh we'll have all the captains one soul exchange 10 incineration to make it even got some poison dagger just to buff it a little bit with the manual poison uh some mind sphere for the mana mana music for the mana again and herbalism for the poison wow so basically that and changing what do you want to change here damage multiplier or mana multiplier 10.6 per minute goblin crown basically will allow us to have passive influx right of goblins that's what it does goblin archers plus 10 per minute there we go yeah they start spawning so let's spawn them manually with like loads of our souls once it becomes really expensive we will stop of course and uh, i didn't by the way i didn't stop uh yeah the poison damage is still quite horrible and we can actually throw some poison daggers to make it even better so that's the poison build that we have and the damage is so low like even with all that ah captains right god damn it stan it was like 55 captains like last time or damage multiplier should help a bit and of course we would like to incinerate the wall for the maximum dps and most souls are spent already so we are pretty much at the maximum amount of goblins let's see how much damage the poison will do two million per second oh wow that's discouraging i was expecting way higher numbers even if we will found 
the poison daggers like crazy, spending all our mana. You can do this without the auto clicker, by the way. This is too fast. Uh, it will go to like 6 million. 7 million. Let me click manually as fast as possible. Like, like I'm the best clicker ever. We are now limited without mana region for this. Oh, incinerate is over. That sucks. You really don't want to push it that much. One dagger every second, basically. And we are at 4 million, 4.5 million damage per second, which is way worse than the skeleton build, and it's even worse than the devil build, so... Doesn't work right now. It's fun, but useless. Next one is Bone Spear build that might allow us to become better Bone Spear throwers, but I'm really unsure about how it will play out. The good thing that here we can max out the soul contract, I think, because we will have a lot of spare mana things. So that's pretty much the base of this build. We get the Bone Spear, Captains, of course, some soul exchange because we can. Incineration to tend to be even Bone Mystic to the maximum that will increase the Bone Spear damage modifier. And uh, Mana's music just because we can build mana with it. Probably we can get some... So how many points do we have? 15. Yeah, I think we can get some Solitude in order to buff our mana gains right now while like we're building up. And uh, we might be able to get the Soul Contract to them. Probably not. I was wondering if we would like to get the Mages for the mana generation here as well. But they require Camels as well in order to be active and useful and we don't have that many points well let's get some because i mean i want to try them out as well so we have some mana let's get the captains up that was like 55 last time then we get the mystics up as many as we can afford then we get the mages up for the mana region whoa what why who the hell is casting uh someone is casting that bone spear as well I'm surprised. I never thought that it will happen, that it will be an autocast because of the minions. Yeah, it's those uh, mystics. They cost the... Nice. So mystics actually passively cost bone spears, so we don't have to do anything. They will take care of all that. Cool. I think this build will be good. I have a good feeling about this. Let's get some souls. Right now I want to build up my souls and mana and all that. And then we will go all in, like, with the Incinerate and now manual Bone Spear cast as well. And I'm curious how it will end up. So, yeah, right now, without any buffs, the Bone Spear is doing, like, 4 million damage per second. And it's already pretty good, because once we go Incinerate, it will... It should scale, right? There we go, there we go. It should go all the way to, like, 5 to 6 million. Maybe even more. I'm surprised it doesn't scale that much. It's supposed to be... Eight times more. Where are my numbers? But yeah, basically right now it does pretty much the same damage as the devil group without doing anything. But we have ability to add some bone spears of our own with the auto clicker. And that's... <laughs> uh, we are still growing mana, by the way. Take a look at that. Our mana is increasing while we are throwing those bone spears like there is no tomorrow and dealing pretty much the same damage what the hell that's surprising and actually discouraging i have no idea why damage output doesn't increase that much i mean those guys are throwing pretty good amount of bone spears but i'm adding like three times more so it should be something like oh it doesn't increase yeah it should be something like 15 million after that Something is wrong with the scaling, I guess. I'm not sure. Because it's supposed to be, theoretically. Like, if we will turn off the uh, incantation for Incinerate, right? We are getting 4 million damage per second here. Right? Uh, 21 total multiplier. All right, all right. Maybe that's because of that. And it goes... Yeah, it's one third. All right. I get it. I get it. This is not... I always forget that multipliers in this game are additive, not multiplicative, because, like, I was expecting 8 times more damage, and it's, like, only, like, 30% more. <laughs> Alright, that explains Incinerate, but it doesn't explain the Bone Spear, because those guys are throwing Bone Spears like there is no tomorrow, but look at that. It should add way more. Everyone have the captain description here. <laughs> Skill points increase the bone spear damage modifier. I think the thing here is wording. So in, it increases the damage modifier of bone mystics bone spears. It doesn't affect my normal spell. Some why? Deadly. Because it would be cool 
if it would work. That would just destroy the wall completely, really fast. But now we are at, like, decent DPS. It's not that crazy. Could be worse. But it's far from being perfect as well. On the bright side, though, this build produces a lot of mana because we invested a lot into the camels and mages. And right now we are at 30 million mana that will allow us to do inside. That will give us imbue, the poison buff. Very timely, right? Right after we get rid of the poison build. <sighs> Let's see how much damage we can do. Uh, 170% poison damage. So it will basically double or triple the damage. And it still will be crap. It was like 2 million, it will be 6 million. So it will be comparable with other builds at this point. But not that much. Oh well, I was really expecting that my bone spears will do the same damage. But not today. All right, we have the regeneration wall next. And uh, I want to do another build. This build, sadly, is lackluster. It could be so much better, but it's a lackluster because our bone spears don't scale. I wanted to add those guys and see how they work. Worm. Excuse me. Can I get rid of someone? Uh, no souls. So yeah, anyway, let's reset. So what I'm trying to do is to make the mana build in order to get uh, more souls on this, like, wh while you're doing this build. And uh, I was thinking of going with the Solitude Maximum, so we won't have all the minions and stuff. 1% reduce for each active minion, so we need to have, like, a low amount of minions for it to be active. And Mana Multiplier is just plus 4 for this one, so it's not that crazy, I think. I'd rather get the mages and the camels, and that should give us more mana. Because right now we're pretty much um, in this build, and we are getting, what, 120k mana. So let's try the uh, mage setup. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Um, I'm wondering, like, if it will give us better results. So Song of Mana. Now we have the mages that should allow us to get the basic mana region. Then we have the camels that will buff it. And then we have the worms that will buff it even further. And we are at... Oh, <laughs> take a look at that. We are at like 4-5 million mana per second. And it's growing. We are not there yet. And we need more... So oh, oh, this is broken, guys. This is broken. That will allow us to get the shit out of all the upgrades available here. Oh my god, let's go Soul Fusion. Bam, we got 14 souls straight away. Soul Contract, bam, 10 more souls. We have... Where are other soul spells? Uh, soul Contract, maybe? Enchant, soul, all that. Bam, we get 35 souls out of nowhere with this fantastic build. Let's get some more camels. Let's get some more worms. Let's get some more mages. And we are at... 10 million mana per second. Now, we will amplify the orb. Ah, too much. Too much. Too greedy. There we go. 48% amplification gave us 10 million mana per second. And we can get more soul contracts, get more souls, get more... Where are the rest of those souls? More soul fusions and summon even more mages. Summon even more worms and camels and that will improve it even higher and guys this is like game breaking if you do it every couple of walls you will get so many more souls you can do so many upgrades look at that it's insane so basically yeah maximum mind sphere maximum mage maximum camels maximum mana so music we don't have it maxed out and maximum wormification will be more than enough for that and we have plenty of uh, minions, so Solitude will not work for this. Solitude is actually kind of weird thing, so we checked it out before. It's, like, inferior to the Mage Camel build. So let's get some more upgrades. I want to buff everything. Maybe one day Focus will be useful as well. Right now, Focus is giving us 1% uh, of our mana generation. That's convenient. Thank you very much. So useless. And, I mean, this kind of build is useful later in the game as well. So once you will get more skill points... You can invest in something that will allow you to get even more mana, like um, mana amplification multiplier, for example, that will allow you to make it stronger. It's plus. Again, it's not like multiplicative, though. 48, 48%. Yeah, it doesn't do that much at this point. God damn it, because we already get the worms that will buff everything up like crazy. And then we got mind spheres that buff everything like four 
four times 20, that's like 80. Why it's not that high though? Hmm. So yeah, that will allow other builds to be so much better, guys. And yeah, now uh, we will do reset and progress. And I think I will go with the skeleton build because it seems to be just better than everything else or devil build, depends. Next unlock will allow us to get with this, but the skeleton summon spell. They can blow up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go with the devil right now and we'll switch to the skeleton mech. So we're basically back to the devil build for this regen uh, wall and it's actually regenerating quite a lot. And uh, I've managed to find the sweet spot for it. So basically you need to get enough captains and devils to be um, able to maximize the cultist number. So you can just auto click it and hold because otherwise you will run out of mana and the devil number will go down. And yeah, the multiplier here right now is only for mana because uh, for the damage it doesn't do that much. You can add a couple of worms into the mix just to get the mana multiplier up and maybe some mind spheres. Depends on what do you want and how many cells do you have cells souls do you have because that will help you to get like an edge over the enemy. And you don't truly want to have the really high cultist number because those guys are getting extremely expensive, extremely fast. So it's better to have more captains and devils and have like 50 cultists that will be actively uh, resummoned. So you will just hold your finger on summoning those guys. Let's get like this set up. That's quite expensive already. But basically, yeah, we just keep summoning cultists and let the devils do their job and we should be good. Our DPS right now is 19 million plus 2 million from the Gusts and uh, it's 20 million. It's better than anything we've seen so far. Although it's pretty mana heavy. So even with all the buffs that we have for the Cultist mana generation, it's still not enough. All right, guys, we've got the game changer. After the side quest on uh, stage 36, I've managed to acquire Mana Fang that just a leeching 8% of... Uh, wait, I gotta keep doing the cultists. 8% of average damage per second. So basically, we get pretty decent mana regen. Now, uh, that's not affected by any multipliers. So we don't need to invest in the damage build for the mana multipliers or anything. That will keep up the good flow of mana because uh, some builds like this one are pretty mana intensive so we were running a low mana now we are actually gaining it because our damage per second is pretty good so yeah that will change a lot that will make the game way easier and after this thing we will unlock another set of skills so what this unlock allowed us to do first of all we can automate the devil build but uh we already tried that it was like 20 million dps and pretty intensive and it would require more souls but yeah, recruiters will help us with the Altis. It's nice. Automate a lot of things. Then uh, I'm going for the skeleton build right now because we get the skeleton bomb. That should be really good. So I want to see how it will work. I have eight points left. Not, not sure where to put them because most of the stuff here is good. We might want to upgrade the bone royalty a bit because it will allow us to get higher summon rate of skeletons. But we will see where to invest it afterwards. Let's call it Exploding Skeleton Build. All right, so basically, as always, like 60 captains, maybe even 80. You can't have too many captains. Uh, a lot of overseers, like 70. And then, like, I don't know, 20 Skeleton Nobles should be enough. Actually, I want more of them. 40 Skeleton Nobles, so they will keep spawning Skeletons for us. And uh, even though... the Basic DPS is actually not that bad at this point. Sacrificial. Like, we can just sacrifice the skeletons one after another. And that does pretty decent DPS. That works really well. Look at that. Let's incinerate it and keep blowing the skeletons up. I can blow them up pretty fast. And the wall is just crumbling. Look at this. Oh, God. This is crazy. I want, I want more of those guys. Where are they? Uh, more bone royalty. So we will get higher skeleton summon ratio. Oh, I can just hold my button on the explosive. 
Look at this. The wall is just being decimated. We don't need skeletons to do any damage. We can just explode the goddamn wall instantly. <laughs> That's... Like, this makes this build the strongest one so far. At, like, uh, wall 37 plus so far, it's, like, the meta. Also, we can get the Lesser Mastery to buff some aspects of the game. But, honestly, at this point, I'm not sure that we need anything. Then just skeletons blowing up. We don't really need them to be doing decent damage. Or actually, 25 million damage. Just by themselves, without any blow-ups and everything. And uh, sacrificals <laughs> will allow this number to go to 100. We get some gas damage as well. Actually, gas damage isn't that significant at this point. It doesn't do that much. So you can just ignore it. But I want to have more skeletons per minute. I have plenty of... Look at that. 1.2 billion mana. Uh, I want to get more souls. So we can do more of that explosive fun. Holy moly. This is insane. The mana flow, the damage, everything is amazing with this build. Wow. This is very, very cool. Look at that. I'm just holding the auto-clicker button, but skeletons are... Keep, keep coming. I can't uh, get that high of kill ratio for skeletons manually by clicking it with the mouse. It, it works. Oh, we can click and hold. We can click and hold. And basically, right now, we are at the perfect ratio. Because as we click and hold, they just, like, it's just perfect. This is OP build. We just... I'm not sure if there is any better build because it's just destroying the walls and... The recovery rate is free. You don't have to pay for anything. You can get more nobles to get even better flow of skeletons. And it's cheap as well in terms of the mana. And it's giving you crazy mana with the mana fan. OP build. Just massacring. This is like the hard wall right here. Wall 40. It has the damage. It has the, uh, what's that? Regeneration has everything to make us suffer but we make it suffer instead we have four points here let's make it even better more summons uh what else do we want above damage multiplier yeah absolutely broken overpowered build right here wow i mean that's auto clicking right you don't need auto clicker for that in order to make it work you can just press and hold skeleton button it will be a bit lower dps but it's it will still be good what's happening what do we have on the screen what are those green whatever i don't understand we unlocked another set of skills already so we have the spiders uh infuse the essence of the gust gust poison and orb crack chance is lower so we can get the modifier up uh i gotta try it later but it doesn't really work for any of our builds rupture increase the damage multiplier for a short time spiders all right do we have souls for the spiders though yeah we do we have way too many skeletons so we can't really spend all the souls to get the spiders we gotta sacrifice some nobles for that my god, this is overpowered. So let's get some spiders. I want to see how those guys will do. And what the hell is the rupture? 37.8 damage multiplier. Rupture chance is 2%. We have so many spiders that it should work. Rupture. Uh, damage multi per rupture. Plus 1. So as they stack, they will add more and more. Nice. Perfect damage buff. So we're getting spider upgrade here. Uh, that will increase the rupture chance. Good. We need more souls now. That's... A lot of souls out of nowhere. Do we have the melee guys? I don't know if it will work for the skeleton blow up damage. Another wall is destroyed. And this, the spiders perfectly complement this build with their rupture bonuses. That lasts for 15 seconds. And maximum ruptures is 25. That will... It, it will give pretty decent bonus to our damage multiplier. I mean, even without doing anything... We get the poison doing what the hell? 40 million damage from the poison? What? What? Where is the poison coming from? Is it? I think spiders uh, add poison as well. I, I have a feeling that it's the case. Let's wait. Or maybe it's because... Wait. Is it because I took this skill? Is it because we got the blight gas? Poison. 
60% of the damage. I don't know. It seems so because it's like dwindling right now. Wow. Wow. So Rapture is already doing 11% damage multiplier. Uh, poison actually falls off right now. So it's therefore from us killing the skeletons. Let's sacrifice those bastards and let's see how poison builds up, how damage builds up and how many damage numbers we will get in the end. Jesus Christ, this is insane. We are doing billions, billions of damage right now. So, uh, bombs are doing 6 million per second. Poison is doing 5 million per se 500 million, I'm sorry. Half a billion, both of those are doing half a billion damage per second. Oh my god, this is so strong. You just need to sacrifice the skeletons and thing will just work. Ah, this is feeling really good. I can't even speak proper English anymore. That's how excited I am, right? <laughs> uh, let's add some points. I'm not sure what I want more, Rapture or better poison damage. I want both. And all of that actually transfers into our mana bonuses because we get that artifact. And we get 60 souls bonus right now. <sighs> From the side quest. Do you think we should add something else to the build? Maybe more spiders? Skeleton numbers are good. Raptures are limited at like 25. So we can get more spiders. We Although the main problem. That if we want to add more minions to the build. We need to sacrifice the skeleton nobles. Then get the skeleton number down. <laughs> Meanwhile, we will just do another um, another wall. And then manually add the number of other minions that you want to get. And then get the skeleton nobles back to 30 or so. Which will be pretty much enough. Let's see how many skeletons do you need. Yeah, if you are click and holding without the macro. I think 25 nobles will be the sweet spot for you. If they are maxed out, in order to summon 49 skeletons per minute, that's insane. Okay, we can get a revelation, hellish revelation, and treat, and treat will buff the devil damage, which is pretty useless at this point because who needs devils when you can do this, when you can just decimate one wall after another? I'm actually not sure. Let's see how much DPS it will add. We will level it up. 10 times more damage, so it was like 50 damage, half a billion. I think this one is still superior. We can also bonus, get bonus to the poison damage. Mm, get more souls, of course. Like buff up our build. And we should be pretty good. For the auto clicker that I use, you need like 40 nobles. In order for skeletons not to run out too fast. So the DPS is like insanely good here. You can see that it's like 3.5, 3.7 billion damage per second. 4 billion damage per second. I think it's the number, right? 2.6 plus 1.1. Yeah, 2. Yes. This is the way to break the walls of misunderstanding between you and wherever we are going. Heaven, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's add more spider bonuses so we will get higher rupture. I've just noticed that in the corner at the top, uh, on the left, you can see your damage per second and ours is 3.5 billion per second right now. And it only gets better as you do more damage because it's, it's insanely powerful. I still can't finish the side quest because I'm just destroying the skeletons to get this number up. <laughs> nice. We unlocked additional uh, tier of spells. What do we have here? Chain Lightning. Uh, that will give us... Basically, it will get... Basically, it will increase damage based on the sacrificed cultists and skeletons, which works for us. Then there is a Mimicry. Uh, mimics, they summon Goblin. Well, we already had the Goblin summoning crown and it didn't did that well, so screw that. And Insect Plague... Uh, Summons a swarm of soulless insect minions, which attack the wall and immediately die. So basically, how does it work? I want to get one point of that, because I'm curious. That might automate our process of sacrificing the skeletons. We don't really need the skeletons, right? 
Oh yeah, we do. Because we get the explosion damage here. So maybe chain lightning? It will allow us to blow up the skeletons for even higher damage. Look at the amount of... How many enemies they kill per minute? 100 minions per minute. So that's like one and a half million per second. Gotta be careful with those skeletons so they will not run out. But in our case, it only helps. So let's take a look at the insects. How do they work? Mimics are useless for us. And I want to take a look at the chain lightning as well. So chain lightning... Uh, Maximum sacrifices. Yeah, it works. Although I think its damage is insignificant, but we will take a look. I think we can afford to spam it. I want to see the insects first. They don't cost any souls. Here they come. Here they go. Do they just spawn? I don't... Yeah, they just disappear afterwards. So we can just do this. A swarm of insects... And what will happen? We will get a lot, a lot of guts afterwards. That gives us 1.6 billion per second. Then the chain lightning. <laughs> we are going to get 10 billion per second DPS here. Can we just press and hold? No. This has to be manually clicked. How are we getting enough skeleton? For the chain light no if you're doing it manually like the right way you should be up oh, up oh, misclick you should be okay it's great that adds quite a lot of dps i'm happy about that skeletons are fun but i mean totally manual manual i don't get how they work but chain lightning seems to be the way for us right now so i'll heavily invest in that one as well oh we get a new set of spells Gates of Hell, uh, Health Blessing Damage and Mana Multiplier plus 0.1, duration is 10 seconds, what the hell is this? Receiving Health Blessing, Temporary Buff to Damage and Mana Multiplier whenever unit dies. So for each death, Incantation, that's another Incantation. Uh, so we can replace Incinerate with the Gates of Hell to get higher Multiplier. This one is plus 8, I'm pretty sure that will be better. And it doesn't consume Mana. I guess. Dragon. Uh, dragons do plus 1% damage for every non-dragon minion. Dragons do for every other dragon. They eat goblin. Interesting. Are they good? Boozooka. Shoot an armor piercing and micro power blah blah blah. What does it do? Whenever 10 minion dies, fire the bazooka. Let's get one. Do we need to summon it? I don't know. It's a passive spell, so it will work automatically. And it will give Rapture, guaranteed. Uh, I want to check how the Hellgate works. Oh, there it is, the Hellgate. Uh, how do I activate it? It's just there. Like, if I incinerate, the gates will disappear. Yeah, it doesn't stack. We get cursed grapes so we can get the damage multiplier for the skeleton so they can do even more dps although that doesn't matter anymore because our dps with whatever skills will spells will decide to use will be better so let's try the chain lightning buff and everything and see how it will go we need more skeleton nobles i think so we will get more skeletons we are getting 20 modifier from the chain lightning from the gates of hell because we're sending insane amount of minions there our dps is like good but not as good as it could be where are bazookas i oh yeah those balls that are flying towards the wall are bazookas oh we can press and hold chain lightning as well that seems to work for like 50 skeleton nobles and that will give us about 10 billion stable DPS destroying the walls completely. We might want to do the reset on the next wall to optimize this meta build. Yeah, this is regen wall, so that's the best time to reset. Wow. So now, what are we doing for this build? This is the meta build for progression, I guess, because it will be really good. First of all, we get the Gates of Hell, Bazookas, and I want to try the Dragon, actually. It won't hurt 
It costs only 8 souls, and we don't need that many of them. Love the dragon. Invocation spell. It's not invocation, it's summon. The dragon is just there, and the gates of hell are open as well, so it's good. Alright. Then we need the chain lightning. We need... We don't really need spiders anymore, because we'll get rapture from the bazookas. So that will work for us, because we will destroy enemies like there is no tomorrow. Oh, actually, I'm curious... We will test it out. I'm curious if we can get uh, more Rapture stacks from Bazookas than from the Spiders. I think it's the same. So there is not that much of a difference. I still want to get the Counting to the maximum and uh, Blight Gusts because that's fun. Exploding Skeleton seems to be the way to go anyway. Bone Royalty will be necessary. We don't need Incineration anymore. Uh, we need captains to the maximum for more buffs. And I think that's all we need. Oh, yeah, the dragon eats goblin. So we need someone who spawn goblins for us. That was something that attracts goblin. Mimics. Let's get a couple of mimics. That's like nine goblins per minute. Uh, every goblin every 10 seconds. Six goblins per minute. So two mimics should support three dragons. Math, let's see if they will survive. <laughs> now, let's max out the bone bombs. Let's max out the skeleton nobles. Uh, we have the explosion already. We have this. I think I want to max out this. We have 40 points left. Max out the dragon? Let's do this. Let's make them level 10. I'm not sure how useful they are, but I guess we will see. The dragon stays, so that's good enough. Yeah, the rapture still has the same maximum rapture, so we don't need spiders. Hell blessing will be really nice. We have 18 skill points. What do we put them in? I want the lightning. Chain lightning will be good. Let's max it out. And uh, probably some of that blight gas for the rest of the spells. So, mm, now let's get enough skeleton nobles. That was like 40, right? Oh, wait, first we need the captains. Like 80 of them. Yeah, we can get 100. Why not? Okay, good enough. So now we have the skeletons. We have the gates of hell. We have the modifier from gates of hell already. Chain lightning. There we go. I hope I didn't screw it up anywhere. Skeletons are dying way too fast. And we need to make sure. This time we need to balance things out so the dragons will stay. The dragons don't do that much damage, honestly. Like, they're there. They're cool. They're funny. But the more damage dragons we have, the more damage... Well, like, yeah, if we have too many dragons, basically, we will have a lower DPS from the dragon. And honestly, checking the damage sources, the dragons are nowhere to be found. Although we are doing 12 billion damage already. Because Gates of Hell providing us... Look at that damage multiplier. 150. Ooh, skeletons are over so let's get 50 of the skeleton nobles new side quest yeah, i just want to make sure that the goblins are there for the dragon so yeah the dragons i thought that they will be more effective totally unnecessary we will do just fine without them with the skeleton army that we have we have 1. 150 billion mana not bad 10 times skeleton damage that's useless let's get something useful let's get goblin archers maybe Oh, we can get a dragon scale. It will be useful if you don't use the auto clicker. So. Oh! So that allows you to do click and call just like the auto clicker. This is convenient. Let's get more souls. Dragons love that. I love that. We all love that. So let's get more souls. That's billions already. Uh, soul fusion. Billions. Everything costs billions now. My god. Although we have those billions. We are billionaires now. <laughs> so, what kind of DPS are we getting right now with our multipliers and stuff? We need more skeleton nobles again. We need more skeletons. Dragons ended up to be useless. So, we are still using meta build with exploding skeletons. Right now, our poison, chain lightning, and bone bombs damage is kind of 30% each, so we need all of them. Oh, now, this is a hard level. Look at that. They have the damaging stuff. They have... Oh, look at that. Now we have the hard level. They use 
damage and region and it will not help them because our dps is 30 billion right now and we can make it even higher if we will get even more skeleton nobles for even more skeletons that will be instantly sacrificed for the power of whoever we are dark skeleton necromancer god jeez this is way too powerful so we have this one mixed out oh we have the new set of spells nice so what can we get here that will make it better poison to seep into ruptures applying poison to the wall whenever you create a rupture poison to apply on rupture that seems good uh orb feedback what does it do your orb becomes violently charged launching damaging anti-mana at the wall whenever you receive anti-mana damage mana from mages or cultists interesting i want to try that later bard bards are doing multipliers the more of them they have the less effective they will be let's get one of those let's get some of those and i think that will be good enough so first of all we need to get some souls again then we need to get rid of our current guys so we can summon some bards five of them for example the bards will give us 29 multiplier nice and now we can get chain lightning up and running and see how much dps we will get on this wall 70 souls reward thank you side quest yeah with this artifact with like auto clicking stuff we need even more skeleton nobles let's say i don't know 90 yeah it's going down so fast our dps is going up so fast things are going numbers are growing and that's what i want to see from the incremental game 100 skeleton nobles guys uh let's get more poison and yeah probably more poison that's the way to go for us right now chain lightning yeah poison is actually now our main source of damage so we might want to um invest a bit into the imbue to make it even more potent need more souls let's get uh the nobles can get more this is too easy this is like so powerful yeah poison is now half of our damage chain lighting and exploding guys are somewhere like 25 percent together and it builds up over time as well i don't care what kind of wall we have right now because this is what decimates everything i wonder if the meta will change a bit later so we are getting to somewhere like 90 billion 100 billion dps right now we get the mana flower i want to see what's that but first we want to ruin this wall completely gates of hell multiplier is crazy everything is working really well for us we might need to get more skeleton nobles and we unlock another tier of upgrades knights that will uh during the nights charge the damage multiplier is boosted for each night is it working only for the knights general now generals are important generals bravery buff per general six percent they will buff captain's damage so that's additional damage multiplier volcano invocation um volcanoes consume your raptures to unleash the devastation of the earth magma dealing damage and increasing the damage multiplier for each rupture consumed they last for two minutes casting volcano requires at least five ruptures and will remove all ruptures from the wall mm, i want to try it we can we have nine skill points so let's add all of those guys to our pool of spells and uh we will see how it will work meanwhile more poison uh bar damage doesn't matter that much at this point i mean they, they help but they don't help that much and we're out of skill point so um if we want to use volcano we will get rid of the hell gates so first of all let's do this then i want to get some generals because i'm pretty sure those guys they will buff our damage quite a lot just by themselves i want 10 of them knights uh i'm not sure how useful those guys are and they cost quite a lot as well i mean doesn't matter anymore the souls is the only thing that matters let's get some knights and see if they will add to our overall multiplier 15 knights entered the fight where are they here they are look at that they are on the horses sweet 
All right. They attack. They retreat. Uh, I don't see any bonuses, though. Standing in the back. I want to see their mechanics. Huh. The knights are chilling. Knights charge. Total damage multiplier plus nine. So, yeah, they add a bit more to the total damage multiplier. Not bad. Not good. Just there. Oh, we can see the dragon's damage right now when we don't do anything. Not significant. I will tell you that the dragons... Uh, we, we, we lost most of the dragons, by the way. I mean... Yeah, we don't need them. The dragons, the mimics, and uh, the goblins, they have to go because they are useless. Honestly, they don't do that much damage. I'd rather get more generals or something like that. Anything is better. They, they don't do that much. So, um, Chain Lightning. Let's see how much DPS do we do right now. And our multiplier with the Hellgate on. With our current build. So we are somewhere around 300 multiplier. Volcano, let's go. Bam. Volcano, let's go. Uh, what do we have for the bonuses? We have two Volcanoes. Our damage multiplier is increasing. And Volcano... Even though... Ah, it's... Invocation spell, not incantation. My god, so it's manually activated thing. It's nice then. I thought that it will kind of rival the Hellgate, but not really. So it will just add additional multiplier on top of what we have. We have 500 damage multiplier right now, which is fantastic. Yeah, let's ruin this and talk later. I want it to be auto cast though. Uh, total damage multiplier. Maximum Volcanoes, 300. Volcano damage. Oh, it does damage. Nice. I wonder if it's efficient. Now, the damage from the Volcano is nowhere to be found, but they do stack. So you get more and more Volcanoes as you go. They consume Raptures, I guess. But since we have the maximum amount of Raptures of, what, 25? Those add up pretty fast. So Volcanoes are kind of the next tier of Rapture, I think. I just wish the placement will be more convenient so we can cast both spells. Okay, Volcanoes are good. Look at our damage multiplier. It's great. They don't really expire or something. Yeah, Volcano would be nice with something like Poison build, where we get automatic Raptures, like if we would get some Spiders of sorts. But it's okay as it is as well. By the way, we have Wait. Wisdom. Magnify. Invocation spell damage. That's what we need. Let's get smarter uh, until it will be too expensive to be smart. So, that changes everything. The, the damage of the book. Oh, wait. I want. I want sorcerer. Couple of levels here. Still one sorcerer only. Let's upgrade the volcanoes as well. Uh, why? Because sorcerer. It will copy the spell that you use. So we will get a double chain like. Have you seen the damage? Oh my god. We just decimate everything now. Sorcerer, where are you? I need you. Uh, here he is. Let's get ready. I am almost crying of excitement, guys. That's insane. One sorcerer. And our damage is even higher because of that guy. And Volcanoes, everything is doubled now. Jesus. We will just break through the game like that. This is broken. Completely broken build, guys. What we have right now is unlimited power. And there is no way of stopping us. With those trillions of damage per second. Loads of skeletons. Let's get more skeleton nobles. So we can keep going. Yeah, Volcanoes, we can't really have too many Volcanoes because our Rapture is building up only during our attack, so it kind of resets. So maybe we need to find a way to get additional Rapture in. We will think of that in the next wave. Where are my Generals? I want more Generals. <laughs> Jesus. This, ah, this is so good. Magnify even more. Soul fusion even more. Let's get more souls. So we can get even more skeletons and stuff. So our damage will be even higher. So what's new? Uh, we have two tiers of spells already. And 
we don't really care because we're good as we are. Sorcery Club. Uh, we can get one more. Every four skill points increase the sorcerer cap by plus one. Will we get increase on our first point? I'm not sure. Let's see. No. So we need four points here. Let's do that. Two sorcerers. That's like multiplying our damage even more. Since we're using spells, right? Now, what do we have here? Uh, bring hell closer to earth. If the hell gates are open, buff the damage of devils and skeletons. Doesn't matter. Skeletons never get to the wall anymore. Saddlebags. Camel bonus for mana generation. Nice, of course. Mana. Uh, golem. Mana golems are avatars of your mana commanded, blah, blah, blah. The more mana a mana golem costs, the more mana it generates. Mana generation, 20%. The hell is this? That's weird. Buff the dragon. Uh, what does it do? Dragon damage buff per goblin, 5k. Now, that might, might make dragons better, but probably not that much. We have the holy vial. Mana multiplier plus 10. That's good. Uh, might be useful if we will go for different build. Cultis and mana mana generation. That's nice as well. But this build feels so comfortable and so powerful that I really don't want to get out of it. Because it's just it's just that powerful. So I want to get something to give a bit more rapture. I guess we just need to get some uh, uh, spiders back. So we will get the rapture. And uh, I want to put points into the captains to buff the stuff. And maybe volcanoes as well because volcanoes are nice. So, let's spend the minions. Let's get like, I don't know, 45 spiders. We have a lot of souls, so we should be able to afford that. That will give us raptures that we can kind of easily convert into the volcanoes. And that will allow us to buff our damage even more. Right? Yeah. <laughs> This allows us to get insanely good damage, guys. Insanely good. So, how much damage we get from each thing? Our invocation spell is doing 76% of the damage. Because we get the sorcerers, now we cast even more of those spells. So we need even more nobles to get even more skeletons. Because I think... <laughs> it's too strong. I think the fact that uh, we have sorcerers, they just duplicate the spell. They don't just get additional damage and stuff. They just duplicate it. So we get even more DPS from that. Um, rapture chance. That's good enough. Damage multiplier buff per rapture. I want to get this one. 68. Yeah, we can get rapture cap higher and sorcery. Uh, maybe we need more. Rapture multiplier buff per rapture consumed times two. Volcanoes last for two minutes. Is it because they last for two minutes? I didn't really understand how they work. Damage multiplier buff per rapture consumed. Yeah, they just last for two minutes. They consume raptures. So it doesn't matter uh, how many current raptures do you have. I just want them to be activated when we have the maximum raptures. But yeah, after this wall, we can increase the amount of maximum raptures and that will allow us to get more volcanoes easier. And that will boost our damage even more. But it's a bit micro build because we do a lot of like manual things here, I guess. All right. So uh, we get a multiplier to the poison, of course. Do we need to summon Hydra? Yeah, we do. Let's get like 10 of them. I want to see if we will make something else potent other than the chain lightning right now. And then we can increase the amount of ruptures. Let's use like whatever points over there so now we can scale raptures and get more volcanoes i guess poison damage is better right now so hydras work let's get more of them because that will buff our dps significantly we can also imbue the poison a bit more and see how it will work it works and the wave 70 is like the boss wave again but it doesn't matter anymore because we are way too strong for anything that we can encounter and uh i think i will end here because i'm playing the game for two hours already and the video will be way too long otherwise 
And I'll make another one, the finishing one, when we will get to the end. And probably we will find even more broken builds there. Because what we have right here is very powerful. The Hydras are good. They buff the damage quite a lot. Now it's like 25% of our damage. Volcanoes, everything. It works really well together. Let's get like more Hydras. Uh, oh, they cost a lot of souls too. So now our damage breakdown is pretty crazy. The skeletons, they don't do much. I mean, there is no point upgrading them right now. Uh, the poison is 62%. Uh, the lightning is lower than poison though, which is surprising. And the damage output is quite insane. My god, we just broke another wall randomly. Let's get more into the hydras. What kind of broken builds do you do, guys? Because this is very, very strong. The volcanoes, I just found them. They are like there, throwing things at the wall. I, I haven't seen anything because everything is filled with effects and stuff. This is cool. We get the side quest. The rest will be in the other video. Uh, should be out in a couple of days. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss it and like this video to promote it in YouTube algorithm and check out the video description for the text guide on Game Vault and the playlist with the rest of the playthrough. And of course, this is a channel for incremental and idle games and I would like to hear your suggestions on other games that I can play. And thank you very much for watching. It's been Stan Kosh. Have a good one. Bye.